Welcome to my course on genome editing and engineering. We are discussing module 9 genome engineer disease modeling and we have been discussing about cancer disease models and we continue our discussion in part B of this lecture. We have uh, learned in the last uh, unit that human cancer cells carry varying numbers of genetic alterations comprising irrelevant messenger mutations as well as mutations in cancer genes that drive tumor initiation and progression. Alteration in uh, cancer genes include uh, loss of function events in tumor suppression genes as a result of nucleotide insertion deletions, uh, indels such as in APC in colorectal cancer and in P10 in many cancers or point mutations such as TP53 mutations in a wide range of cancers. Oncogenes may also be activated by point mutations such as uh, BRAF, V600E in melanoma, gene and amplification such as HAR2 gene amplification is breast cancer or gene diffusion events such as fusions of EWS, R1 and FLI1 in Ewing's sarcoma. Epigenetic alterations can also change the regulatory landscape of uh, cancer cells. And in the modeling of a uh, cancer, we have to uh, imitate all these kind of genetic uh, changes and build up this uh, uh, regulatory landscape of uh, the genes and genetic elements inside in the, in the cancer cells. In this context, uh, CRISPR-Cas9 has been an invaluable addition to the genetics toolkit to allow generation of mouse models that faithfully recapitulate the myriad of genetic and epigenetic modifications seen in uh, human uh, cancers. Uh, from our innumerable uh, discussions in the past, uh, we now know that CRISPR-Cas9 system uses guide RNA targeting uh, to direct the Cas9 endonuclease to a specific locus whereupon it induces DNA breaks which are subsequently repaired by the cellular DNA repair mechanism machinery. Uh, homing meganucleases, JDFNs and uh, talents. Uh, genome editing technologies have allowed for the generation of targeted genomic modifications. However, it is the class of engineering tools based on the RNA guided casting nuclease from the type 2 prokaryotic clusterly, clustered regularly interspit short palindromic repeats CRISPR adaptive immune system that has made the biggest impact on the ability to rapidly and efficiently alter the mouse genome. We have discussed about the Ewing's sarcoma in the earlier part of this lecture and there we have uh, discussed about the use of JDFN in generating a uh, translocation uh, which is found in the uh, diseased uh, case. CRISPR-Cas9 has also been efficiently used uh, for doing the similar kind of modeling by Torres and his colleagues. Uh, in, in certain human cancers, chromosomal translocations are generated through the illegitimate joining of two non-homologous chromosomes affected by double strand breaks. A reliable methodologies to reproduce precise reciprocal tumor associated chromosomal translocations are required to gain insight into the initiation of leukemia and sarcomas. The Methodology developed by Torres et al. Uh, for generating cancer related human chromosomal translocations in vitro uh, based on the ability of the RNA guided CRISPR Cas9 system uh, induce DSB at the defined positions. Through these, they produced human cell lines and primary cells bearing chromosomal translocations resembling those described in acute myeloid leukemia and Ewing sarcoma at very high frequencies. A trophic and molecular analysis at the mRNA and protein levels of the fusion genes involved in these engineered cells, they found CRISPR-Cas9 to be highly reliable, accurate and a powerful tool for cancer modeling uh, studies. Uh, so, CRISPR-Cas9 can have huge impact in a uh, cancer research. Uh, the various applications of CRISPR genome editing for precision cancer models can be seen in this a figure. So, uh, it is used for the rapid knockout, knock-in germline uh, mouse model generation 
osomatic genome editing, uh, uh, castine myoids, then for chromosomal engineering, ex vivo leukemia models development, disease gene correction combined with Krilox uh, syst uh, P system and for understanding cancer progression and developing mouse models for drug testing and treatment, then SERNA screen for drug resistant genes. CRISPR has been used to generate all these kind of studies and it is a proven tool to investigate chromosomal engineering, generate ex vivo leukemia models and identify drug resistant genes through genome editing in cell lines. It can be used to correct disease associated genes through homology directed repair pathway and in combination with the traditional CRE log speed system CRISPR can generate conditional knockout knock in mouse models and further the understanding of cancer progression. Rapid generation of cancer models in mouse through genome editing is uh, possible uh, using uh, CRISPR Cas9. So, here in this figure A you can see the production of germline CRISPR mouse models, Cas9 and uh, single guide RNA can be micro injected into mouse zygotes. The resulting mouse will carry cells harboring CRISPR mediated indels or homology directed repair and this method generates mosaic mice. In the case of figure B you can see the somatic CRISPR mouse models uh, production, castine and SERNA can be delivered to mouse tissue in vivo. For example, through hydrodynamic uh, injection to the liver or viral vehicles uh, to various tissues and we obtain genome editing in the somatic cells as a outcome of this procedure. The engineering of CRISPR mediated genomic deletions ranging from 1.3 kb to greater than 1 mega basis in mammalian cells has been reported and an inverse relationship exists between deletion frequency and uh, deletion size. This work by uh, Canver et al and uh, in, in journal of biological chemistry on the characterization of genomic deletion efficiency mediated by CRISPR Cas9 nuclear system uh, in, in mammalian cells is considered as a very important study uh, in this regard and they showed that CRISPR Cas9 is a robust system to produce a spectrum of genomic deletions to allow investigations of genes and uh, genetic uh, elements. Uh, two SZRNAs that target one chromosome can lead to deletion or inversion between SZRNA uh, cutting sites as seen in this figure C. Two SZRNAs targeting two different chromosomes can lead to uh, chromosomal uh, translocation as shown in the figure D. These techniques allow rapid modeling of uh, cancer associated chromosomal rearrangement and we have seen in the case of Ewing's sarcoma how this uh, translocation uh, use uh, utilized. So, in figure C you can see two SERNAs targeting one chromosome. Uh, due to which there is either a gap or deletion or this is uh, getting inverted and while in figure D uh, there is a occurrence of translocation. Accurate animal models of cancer require the tumor and its micro environment to be as genetically, physiologically and anatomically similar to the disease in humans as possible. And while studying the cyclic process in cancer modeling, uh, there is a step of a model refinement or model improvement. So, we may not be able to build up the perfect model uh, in the first uh, circle, uh, but after learning about the various uh, problems and faults, uh, fallacies, we can improve upon the model and make them uh, as much similar. Uh, to the disease in humans uh, and, and generate a, a real uh, uh, 
model. The laboratory mouse is the most widely used model system due to its genetic similarity to humans, small size, short reproductive cycle which we have already discussed and above all the ease with which its genome can be manipulated. Convention and technologies to generate gen genetically modified mice such as gene targeting and intracellular mutagenesis may be extremely uh, laborious with long model generation times which has led to great interest in gene editing approaches. In this figure we can see the various ways CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing is used to understand cancers in uh, function in mice. The modeling germline and somatic loss of function events uh, for the generation of predisposition model, rapid generation of conditional alleles, we may have forward genetic screen, uh, identification of driver genes and identification of synthetic lateral uh, interactions. In a modeling of chromosomal rearrangements, the analysis of contiguous regions and exploration of the regulatory uh, landscape uh, is involved. In the case of CRISPR I and CRISPR A, control of gene expression is possible, validation of targets by on off gene switching analysis of essential genes uh, in the body or soma, somatic regulation of the epigenome for understanding the role of methylation, acetylation uh, in tumor genesis. We may also use the base editing to model point mutations. Here we have access to the uh, phenotypic consequences of a missense mutation and generate allelic series of point mutations in a uh, cancer gene. Let us now discuss these various aspects of CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing in the generation of cancer models one by one. Let us start with the modeling of germline and somatic loss of function events. CRISPR-Cas9 technology can be used to generate germline knockout mouse models of cancer. Uh, hydrodynamic tailwind injection of a plasmid expressing both Cas9 and SGRNAs against P10 and TRP53 has resulted in the development of hepatocellular carcinomas that mimicked those seen in traditionally generated mice with liver specific loss of P10 and uh, TRP53. This was a landmark study which for the first time showed the power of in vivo genome editing for identifying and validating driver genes. Introductory injections of Web Cree CDS1 flocks by flocks cast in female mice with a lentivirus carrying a SZRNA for P10 or MOH9 resulted in a proportion of the mice developing invasive lobular breast carcinomas that closely resemble human ILCs. Uh, Cas et al. Uh, studied a large scale example of how insertion mutagenesis can be used to identify and validate cancer genes and pathways in an unbiased way. The proencephalon refers to the future uh, forebrain which includes the teleencephalon and the diencephalon. These structures give rise to the cerebral hemisphere and the thalamus or hypothalamus. Uh, for modeling brain cancer, wild type mouse underwent uh, in utero electroporation of the developing proencephalon with three plasmids carrying Cas9 together with SZRNAs targeting NF1, TRP53 or P10 which led to the development of highly aggressive glioblastomas similar to those seen in human glioblastoma uh, patients. Extending this approach using multiplexing, ALB Cree, Cras LSL, Z12D, oblique uh, positive mice where HTV administered as 10 individual CRISPR SB vectors is vector carrying Cas9 and one of the 10 different SDRN is flanked by slipping beauty transposition reputes and an SB transposes vector to promote genomic integration of the CRISPR SB vectors resulting in the development of hepatocellular carcinoma and intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma. This system allows for assessment of the oncogenic effects of multiple genes and genetic interactions in a single experiment. 
conditional in vivo genome editing allows both temporal and spatial control of the induction of genetic alterations. The mouse genetics toolkit has several ways to generate conditional alleles of which a commonly used approach is the Cree recombinase Cree enzyme which can inactivate or activate the genes by exercising, exercising log sp flanked exons or log sp stop log sp transcriptional terminators respectively. The CRISPR-Cas9 system can be used in conditional mouse models of cancer to study cooperation between cancer driver genes. Uh, some examples are CRAS LSL, G12D positive, TRP53 flux by flux, KP mice, uh, intertracheally administered a lentivirus encoding a SGRN targeting NKX2.1 or P10, Castine and Cree developed lung adenocarcinomas faster than KP mice treated with a lentivirus encoding Cree alone. In other studies, they have used transiting mice carrying a LSL Cas9 cassette knocked in to a safe inner targeting site such as HIP uh, 11 or ROSA 26. And examples are CRAS LSL Z12D by uh, positive R26 LSL TOM, H11 LSL Cas9, KT Cas9 mice given retrograde pancreatic ductal injections of a lentivirus carrying Cree and a SGRNA against LKB1 developed extensive tumor growth in the pancreas as early as 2 months after tumor initiation with histological features that were indistinguishable from those found in KT LKB1 flux or flux mice injected with a, a Cree lentivirus. Another Application of CRISPR-Cas9 is in the modeling chromosomal rearrangements about which we have uh, already uh, discussed in the case of uh, Ewing uh, sarcoma. One group uh, utilized the replication competent avian leukosis virus splice receptor based approach which uses RCS vector to target individual cells engineered to express the TVA cell surface receptor. To create a chromosomal deletion and RCAS virus carrying SGRNA targeting intron 13 of beacon and intron 10 of NTRK1 was used to infect neural stem cells isolated from GTVA, GFAP Cree, LSL Cas9, TRP53 LOX by LOX pups had brain specific P53 loss and expression of TV and Cas9. Intracranial injection of the infected NSCs into NOD by skid uh, mice resulting in tumors that showed histological features of high grade glioma including a high percentage of chi 67 positive cells, microvascular proliferation and pseudo pellicidine uh, necrosis. Another group used the above mentioned KC uh, RIK mice to mimic a large homozygous chromosomal deletion seen on chromosome 9 in human PDAC two SZ RNAs against target sites separated by 1.2 MB on the syntenic region of mouse chromosome 4 were cloned into the 3 GIC9 plasmid which was then inserted into the col 1A1 locus of KC RIC ES cells and transmitted throughout the germline. The pancreas of dox treated KC RIC SZL A by B mice showed the presence of multiple foci or PDSO of poor to moderate differentiation. The CRISPR-Cas9 system has also been used to generate chromosomal inversions in vivo with one study generating a mouse model of uh, EMI4 ALK uh, driven uh, EML4 ALK driven lung cancer using a plasmid that simultaneously express Cas9 into distinct SGRNAs. Uh, from tandem U6 uh, promoters. Recombinant adenovirus expressing Cas9 and both SGRNAs were administered to mice by intratracheal uh, installation and at 12 to 14 weeks post infection the lungs of ADEA infected mice showed the presence of multiple adenocarcinomas. Importantly the ADEA induced lung tumors were sensitive to uh, chrysotinib uh, which is an ALK mat inhibitor used in the clinic to treat patients with ALK positive non-small cell lung uh, cancer. 
the use of base editing to model point mutation in cancer has also been actively pursued uh, using CRISPR Cas9 system, which allows for precise engineering of somatic point mutations of key cancer drivers by enabling conversion of single nucleotides without formation of DNA breaks. The best characterized base editors to date are the cytosine base editors allowing C to T transitions. A B3 is a CBE composed of a nuclease defective Cas9 fused to a cytidine deaminase. This is an important study showing that base editing could be used to alter DNA bases without generating uh, double strand uh, breaks. A conditional B3 allele was introduced into the call 1A1 locus of ES cells from WebCree, BRC1 flux by flux, TRP53 flux by flux, uh, WBP1P mice and transmitted through the germline to produce uh, W1P BE3 mice. Introductal injection of these mice with a lentiviral virus carrying either a non-targeting sgRNA or an sgRNA targeting the third exon of AKT1 in order to generate an oncogenic AKT E 17K missense mutation by base editing as well as by MIC overexpression cassette resulted in the development of memory tumors. However, the lengthy SG AKT1 E1 E17K MIC mice developed tumors with much shorter latency than the lengthy SG NT uh, MIC mice. So, these are some of the achievements of CRISPR Cas9 in the field of base editing to model point uh, mutations in uh, cancer. This same study also generated an allelic series of missense mutations in PIK3 CA in vivo and showed that uh, lengthy SGPI K3 CA E542 K MIC then lengthy SGPIK3 CA E545 K MIC and lengthy SGPIK3 CA545 5, 5, 4, uh, 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 CA E453 K MIC uh, dosed WPB1P BE3 females developed memory tumors with a significantly shorter latency than lengthy SGNT MIC dosed females underscoring the fact that Whilst the E453K mutation is not found as commonly as the other two mutations in human tumors, it has similar cooperative effects in this setting. The feasibility of multiplexed uh, base, base editing was also demonstrated when WB1PBE3 mice carrying TRP53F positive allele were injected with a tandem uh, lengthy SGPIK3 CA E545 K SGTRP53 Q97 MIG vector that harvests two arrayed SGRNA cassettes to simultaneously introduce the PIK3 CA E545 K missense mutations and inactivate the residual wild type copy of TRP53. The mice develop memory tumors significantly faster. Then lengthy SGTRP 53Q97 MIC dosed mice. The majority of these studies discussed here uh, has been taken from these review by Wyden et al. in current opinion genetics and uh, development. And the uh, original references are also uh, quoted. Uh, uh, in, in, in exact uh, numbers in the uh, text uh, as uh, references. So, for uh, further details, uh, kindly consult uh, original uh, articles from which these case studies have been uh, collected and compiled by uh, Wedden et al. Overall, to conclude, the various gene editing technologies like ZFN. Uh, Talon and CRISPR Cas9 uh, has been successfully used in creating uh, models for cancer uh, in cells as well as in uh, animals. And these makes the study of cancer, the discovery of cancer related genes 
as well as the development of NC can uh, cancer drugs uh, quite uh, easy uh, than in earlier times. So, genome editing technologies for cancer disease modeling has a very big impact in the development of various cancer based uh, therapeutics. With this we come to the conclusion of uh, module 9. Uh, thank you for your uh, patient hearing. Thank you.